Unprecedented snowfall hit the south of England last weekend, blanketing London, Buckinghamshire, Essex and Cambridgeshire with several inches. Now snowy conditions are expected to continue, with Met Office warnings in place across the UK. According to Met Office forecasters, today there has been a 14C difference in temperatures between Scotland and the south of England. Weather maps show 0.1C in Balmoral, Scotland while the mercury has lingered around 14.2C in Perjure. The forecasters tweeted, there still remains a big temperature contrast across the UK. On Wednesday a similar contrast was seen, with 11.3C seen in Bude. Cornwall while, 6.6C was recorded in Balta Sound, Scotland. The difference in temperatures is due to weather systems from the Atlantic trying to extend their influence. Met Office Chief Meteorologist, Andy Page said, over the next few days we continue to see a division between milder conditions in the southwest with much colder air to the north and east. The boundary between the two air masses will flex north and south bringing the potential for snow along the boundary between the two. Tomorrow begins with a weather front moving north from the southwest triggering rain and snow warnings. In southern parts of Cornwall and Devon, heavy rain will feature, particularly on higher ground. However, rain is likely to turn to sleet and snow across Wales and central England during the morning and then some parts of south and south. East England before it clears southwards again. The most likely areas for disruptive snow are across Wales and over the Cotswolds, where there is the risk of a few centimetres accumulating at lower elevations, but this could increase to 15 centimetres or more at locations above 250 metres. A snow warning is in place for this region until 6 p.m. on Saturday. Saturday night will see temperatures falling away from the far southwest, with a widespread sharp frost likely across the rest of the UK. Met Office warnings for snow and ice are in place over the next few days. A yellow weather warning for ice is in place for Central, Tayside and Fife, Granbian, Highlands, and Eileen Shear. North East England, North West England, SW Scotland, Lothian Borders, Strathclyde and Yorkshire and Humber. This came into force at 4pm on Friday, and remains in place until 11am on Saturday. The Met Office warns, rain and some hill snow will clear south across Scotland and then Northern England during Friday afternoon with much colder air to follow. Temperatures will quickly fall below freezing across Scotland and then across northern England overnight with icy stretches developing where surfaces remain wet. In addition, wintry showers will spread inland from the North Sea to eastern areas overnight. Another yellow weather warning for snow is in place on Saturday, this time for the south of England and Wales. The affected areas are the London and South East England, Wales and the West Midlands. This warning comes into force at 5am on Saturday and remains in place until 6pm the same day. Forecasters warn, an area of rain pushing in from the southwest through the early morning will readily turn to snow in places. As it encounters colder air, there remains a good deal of uncertainty in how far north the rain and snow will get, before the band stalls and starts to move south again as it eases. Up to 1.1 to 2.7 inches, 3 to 7 centimeters, of snow is possible to low levels with the potential for 3.9 to 5.9 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters, over high ground, above 200 to 300 meters, mainly in Wales and the West Midlands. There is a very low chance of perhaps as much 7.8 inches, 20 centimeters, over highest parts of the Shropshire and Snowdonia. Netweather has cautioned of potential flood risks, with rain due to hit areas already saturated from heavy rainfall and snow melt. The forecasters write, low pressures are just barreling in from the Atlantic all week. There is milder air to the south but still cold air holding on in the north which brings the likelihood of snow on the leading edge. These frontal bands will bring more rain to already sensitive areas, adding to the saturated ground, into the river catchments and melting the weekend's snow. However, colder air is on the way to the south once more, with another frontal band linked to Tom Pet Justine, heading to the Bay of Biscay, bringing colder temperatures by the weekend.